again, lovely folks at YouTube, Ren here. So I had originally planned on doing a different video today. Um, planning on doing more of a gardening basics info video about soil and all kinds of fun stuff like that. But plans kind of changed. Life happened. Uh, instead of having the time to prepare that video, I'm now actually preparing myself for a job interview, which is why my hair is all up and everything like that, my professional look. So... I'm doing that instead, but I did still want to put something out there because I've made the promise to myself to try and get a video out, ideally on Wednesdays, because if you know your correspondence, says this is a good day for communication. So here I am making just a more off-the-cuff video. I might be a little more rambly than I usually am because I don't have my little bullet point talking points to keep myself on track. But I did want to have just a little bit of a chat since I don't have my prepared little informational teaching, blah, blah, blah. Instead, we're going to just have a little chat about in bulk because that is coming up. My Grove is celebrating the Sabbath on Sunday because we are practical people who have jobs for the most part. So <laughs> and Sunday is just a good, easy day for us to take off, especially for people who are still kind of in the broom closet. If you tell people you're going to a religious function on Sunday, they usually don't ask many more questions beyond that. Just kind of go, oh, okay, and just fill in their own assumptions. So it's very easy to be covertly witchy if you're uh, planning your Sabbaths on Sundays. Just pro tip. So I am actually leading the ritual on Sunday. I am going to be working in the West as priestess. It is not a role that I'm unfamiliar with, but this is my first time leading the, uh, the rite. In, uh, in the Sabbaths, which is our more public rituals. I'm not normally an officiant for the public rituals. Um, for those of you, I'm, well, I'm going to go on the assumption that most of you don't know Blue Star Hierarchy. Um, Blue Star, of course, is a traditional lineage Wicca. We do have the traditional Wiccan initiation ranks of first, second, and third degree. But we also have two additional ranks that come before first degree, which is dedicant and neophyte. Dedicants are people, basically, who have dedicated themselves to Blue Star. It's considered to be a laity position, but we do a little bit more than what I associate laity doing. We're, we're more of like a support role. We are active. We do things. We show up on a regular basis. We do more than just sit there and listen. We do actually participate and assist but it's not common for us to be in the officiant roles. Ideally, that would be the first, second, and third degrees. Neophytes are the people who are training towards first, second, and third degree progressing. So ideally, it would be either the actual initiates or the neophytes who would be actually in the four officiant roles that we have in ritual. But we only have one initiate, and we have two neophytes, and we can't rely on them for all the work all the time. So us dedicants, of course, help to fill in. And most of us, I say most, because I think there's, only, with the exception of one, most of us are planning on eventually pursuing neophytes and moving on into um, initiation at some point. Uh, some of us sooner rather than later. I'm in the later camp. I have a lot going on that I want to settle first. But despite my not normally being an efficient for the public rituals, I am actually going to be officiating on Sunday, so that will be interesting. Being the priestess, the person in the West, means I'm kind of actually leading everyone. Um, everyone's kind of following my cue, and I've written up what I want to do as far as the actual work of the circle goes. All, of course, with the approval of my priestess because it is her grove. So, and me being who I am, I basically design the ritual work that is centered around what I'm normally doing in the garden at this time of year, which is clearing the way. I am, this is the time of year that I am, as soon as in bulk hits, I'm getting out there. I'm starting to clear the debris off of the ground. I am clearing out the branches that are weak or crossed or dying from my trees so that the plants in the ground have room to grow up. The tree's branches, the strong ones, have room to send out new leaves. Um, that's basically what we are doing for in bulk, is we are trying to clear out all the crap that we don't need, that doesn't serve us, that is hindering our growth, so that when that time of growth happens in the springtime, we have the room to be as strong as we can be. 
So that's basically what we're doing in bulk. That's what it is to me, anyway. It's, uh, it's actually one of my favorite Sabbaths because there's so much, so much potential. The, this is the Sabbath of potential. You don't know exactly what's coming, but you know that something's coming. And it's gonna be, it's gonna get better. So, and you just need to do some groundwork and clear the way to let those good things come in. That's that's basically what in bulk is to me. Um, these themes of clearing away, you know, getting rid of things, that extends to inside my house as well. This is, of course, the time when we're doing spring cleaning. In bulk is uh, when we really Marie Kondo the hell out of this place and we're purging stuff. My daughter has already jumped the gun on that she i'm actually if i look just off camera there there's a big pile of stuff that she cleaned out of her room she's really good at purging uh way better at it than i am sometimes i have to go through her stuff and be like no we can't get rid of that we can put this to another use and she will just throw everything in the trash and i don't like adding to the landfill if we can so we're gonna we're gonna go through her stuff some of it we're gonna donate to charity some of it we're gonna see if friends with younger kids might want it I know she's got a couple of Nerf guns, and I'm really reluctant to give those up because Nerf guns are fun for any age. Uh, there's a lot of books in that pile, too. We're going to go to the secondhand store and see if we can sell off those books so we can buy new books, which we can then get rid of at some point in the future because that is the circle of life in our family. Is you buy books, you sell books to buy more books, to sell books, to buy more books, and so on and so forth. Just a never-ending cycle. So this is, uh, in addition to the actual manual physical cleaning of the home this is also when i do the spiritual cleaning of my home i don't do any smoke purification or um, smudging simply because i have two asthmatics in my home and i don't like to bring in smoke because that can trigger their asthma and that's not good for them i prefer to purify with uh, asperging with water instead so I actually, I do still have some green leaves on my rue plant outside, and I will just cut a couple branches that need to be pruned off anyway. Sorry, my cat is really distracting me off the corner there. Um, cut a couple branches off of my rue plant and, uh, and use that just as a sprinkler or asperger. Get a little bit of blessed uh, water, add a little pinch of salt in there, and then just go through the house counterclockwise to get rid of everything. Sprinkling everything, paying special attention to doors and windows. That's where stuff comes in. You want to make sure that that's where any crud that may have accumulated or gotten left behind gets cleared out. And then once that's been done, then you can do like a, I like to do usually, sorry, I'm not having a blank, but uh, where you boil things in water to just kind of release the steam and make the whole house smell good. That's a, there's a name for it that I'm blanking on because my brain some, sometimes does that. But, uh, but that's something that I will then do after I then clear everything out is just to bring those good vibes in, bring some good smells in because that's, uh, that's part of the beliefs too. Obviously good smells are good magic. You don't want that miasma in your home. <laughs> So, yeah, this is, honestly, it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite Sabbaths. I really do love the work at Imbolc. I love the, the potential, the looking forward. I love the sense of accomplishment that I get from really cleaning things out. It makes me feel really good to have that clean slate to start from again. Um, there are a lot of other themes that people tend to bring into Imbolc. There's, um, particularly food-wise, a lot of people do things with, like, dairy and seeds to, again, you know, bring in that, time of year. I'm not too clear on the dairy associations. I'm a gardener, not a farmer, but um, the seeds I can understand. You know, this is the time when you have that, that potential. You're just waiting, so seeds kind of represent that as well. Personally, as far as my recipes that I like to make for my family, I make something called kyotsupa, which is a Icelandic lamb stew with barley that brings those seeds into play but also has a lot of root vegetables. So this is one of the few things that I can actually make with things for my garden in February because that's basically all I have out there right now is rutabaga and parsley, and it uses both of those. So I can actually bring my garden into my dishes by making kyotsupa at uh, in bulk. For our ritual feast, uh, we do vegetarian dishes just to accommodate more people when we do Blue Star, um, the home that we host the home that typically hosts our rituals is a vegetarian home, so we try not to bring any meat dishes in. 
uh, they're kosher as well, so we don't bring anything that's non-kosher, but probably going to make a um, potatoes au gratin for that. My daughter might be joining us, which means that she'll need to contribute a piece as well. I might show her how to make just a really quick Greek chickpea soup because that's something easy for her to throw together and brings those seeds associations in. And my cat is pointedly ignoring me. She's distracting me by scratching my couch, but she's definitely not going to appear here. Persephone, come here, beauty. Come here. That a girl. Yes, my cat's name is Persephone. Come here, beauty. Oh, yes. Sit high to your big no. She's a fighter. She has no interest in being here. She just wants to play, which is why she's being very distracting. So, but anyway, yes. <laughs> That's in bulk for me in a nutshell and Persephone. So I would love to hear what you guys do for in bulk. If you want to post down below, I'd be excited to read it. I'm always curious to know what other people are up to, and it's great to swap ideas. So I hope to hear from you, and I will see you again soon.